<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all if you have a PlayStation 3. This is mostly going to be helpful for PS3 HIN users, how you can activate your system, really use a PSN style activation uh, without accessing PSN. We're going to be doing this using Apollo Save Tool, and the goal of this here is going to be to generate an act.dat file on the system itself. This is going to be our activation file, and this will allow us to use on-the-fly licensing. Now, this is useful for a couple different scenarios. One, if you do not want to access PlayStation Network at all on your system, or two, even if your system is banned, for example, and you don't want to try any other ways of getting back online on this system. Typically, if you were to enable the easy on-the-fly licensing for PS3 HIN, what you'd need to do is sign into a PlayStation Network account over here, and then you'd need to activate the system itself. However, I'm going to be showing you all how to do that without using this. So we're going to need a few things. First of all, we are going to need our PlayStation 3. Preferably, if you are using PS3 HIN, that'd be optimal, although if you want to do the same thing on custom firmware, I believe it should still be fine on some of those as well too, but this is mainly going to be for PS3 HIN users. So you will need PS3 HIN already installed on your PlayStation 3. I will have links to these tutorials down below in the description, but you're also going to need a USB flash drive and you're going to need a computer to download the file that we need. So with that, let's go ahead and move over to our PC with the USB drive. Now what you'll need to do over at your computer is navigate over to the link for Apollo Save Tool on PlayStation 3. This is going to be really the only application that we're going to need here, and there's a lot of really awesome stuff that you can do, so I would recommend giving this a nice read through so you can see what is going on here, but this is really what we're going to be using this for, the account activation. So for this, we can scroll up, click on releases and download the latest Apollo save tool PKG file. Just save this somewhere you can easily find it. So here we go over on my desktop I have a couple things. First of all I do have the Apollo save tool package downloaded and also I do have a game that I want to relicense on here. Now I have covered this before in a on the fly licensing video but let's just see what we have. It usually looks a little something like this. I have the package file and I have a dot wrap file and these are two files that we're going to need to get licensed on the system. So I'm just going to bring all of them over to the console itself. Now, as usual, you are going to need to have a USB flash drive that has been formatted to FAT32. So make sure you've done that already. And inside of here, simply copy and paste the Apollo PS3 package file to the root of the USB drive. Once it has been copied over, that's really the only application we need. Now, if you're going to be installing any games that need relicensing, I'm not going to go into the full details of that, but it's pretty simple. We're just going to take the package, copy it into the same location, and for our .wrap file, which is going to be our license file, we need to create a folder in the root of the USB drive called xdata, and inside of that x or exdata folder, we're going to copy and paste the wrap file. Again, if you want a more granular version of this here that's going to show everything, I do have a tutorial showing this, but this is more just to get the activation going, and I'm showing you all the proof of this working here, so I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty with the game itself. But either way, once we have all that, you can just right click, eject a USB drive, and move it over to your PS3. Over at your PS3, once HIN has been enabled, plug in your USB drive, make sure it is recognized as such here, and go over to your package manager, install package files, standard, and we're going to install Apollo. There we go. Now I also do want to show you all that this game is not going to work, but let's get the install out of the way. So first I'm going to come back over here, grab my game which is 1942 Joint Strike, just install it like any standard package file, but you're going to see here that it is not going to work. And here we go, that's been installed. So over here, I have the game that I want to relicense, and I have the Apollo save tool. Now, as this usually works, all you should need to do is take your USB drive that has the wrap file inside of the xdata folder, make sure it is plugged in, and launch the game. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Now, as you can see, I'm not able to run it because it says I have to renew the license. Typically, if it relicenses successfully, it should just boot up just fine. Unfortunately, this is where we would be stuck. So typically, you need to sign into your PlayStation Network account and activate your system, but that's what we're going to try and do completely offline here. So for this, go ahead and launch Apollo Save Tool. Just go ahead and give it a bit of time here to do the work that it needs to if you're launching this for the first time. Hopefully it shouldn't take all too long. And here we go, it now says successfully installed local application data so we can continue on. And here we go, we now have the tool launched. So we do have several options that are available here, but let's go ahead and come over to User Backup. Over here, the very first option is going to be Activate PS3 Account. And you can also even see a lot of other really nice uh, options here. So I do recommend just looking through this application. There's a really a lot of useful stuff that you can check out here. But let's just go ahead and utilize this for this exact purpose. We're going to Activate PS3 Account. Activate PS3 Account again. Account successfully activated. A system reboot might be required. So we can hit OK. Now we're going to go back and let's go ahead and close out of Apollo itself since we've done what we needed to here. Once we've closed out of Apollo, let's go ahead and turn off the PS3 and then turn it back on. And here we go. So it's going to be the same thing as before. I've already run Apollo save tool, but I don't have any PlayStation Network account or anything on this. Actually, even if I come here, check this out, it's just disabled there. But that has changed, although I have not added any account on here. But what we can do is go over to our game. Again, make sure your USB drive with the wrap file in the xdata folder is plugged in and recognized like it's showing here. So let's go ahead and try and launch this. And here we go. As you can see, the game is launching and it did not before the last time the system was on. So that means that we were able to successfully, without using PSN at all, activate our system and therefore restore the ability to use that on the fly licensing. So this works out pretty great here and, you know, awesome progress on this. This is awesome to see in Apollo. Let's go ahead and close out of this. So there we go, it was as easy as that. Again, we did this completely offline and without the need for PlayStation Network setting up an account or anything, and we do have our game successfully working. So if it did launch, at this point you can unplug your USB drive and you don't need that every time you run this game since it has been re-licensed on the system itself. Again, I really do like this feature here just because if you're the type of person where you don't want to add a PlayStation Network account on here, or maybe even your system is just banned, or you just don't want to use PSN at all, this is a really good alternative that really accomplishes the same thing. So that's about it for this video. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.